Is Elon Musk supporting Vic? Let's see and let's roll it. Hello and welcome back to your faces, welcome to Come Geeksum. If you are new here, please like and subscribe for future content. When the lawsuit went public for Vic last week, one, oh, there's a police chopper outside of my house. Oh well, anyway, so, when it went live last week, within hours of it hitting all the major, you know, all the major websites and everything else, it was crazy. Because obviously, you had Polygon, you had Variety, you had CBR, you had Screen Rant, Comic Book, Anime News Network, obviously, you know, those uh, scoundrels over there. They all started reporting on it, and within a couple of hours of that going live, one and only Elon Musk changed his profile photo on Twitter to Eric Ehrlich. Not, uh, not Eric Ehrlich, sorry, Edward Ehrlich. And that is just amazing, because Elon Musk, you know, if that's happened, it's probably going to show that he is probably supporting Vic, but obviously he can't say it, or he is just memeing the entire world. But one thing he has done as well, you've had a couple of people who were going around and... <laughs> This is one of my favourite ones, it was 10 hours ago. You had Senior Hunter, thank you Elon Musk, hashtag anime memes. And you got the photo there, Elon Musk weaves society. And Elon Musk replying, Milady, my shield is yours. That is just absolutely incredible, and I just think it's so funny. But with Elon doing this now, and he literally he's going against everyone, and he is literally just going against people. He's just throwing all tons of anime memes out there. And (laughs) with him doing this, I really do think that he probably is on the ice stand with Vic's side. Mostly because, well, Elon Musk does actually believe in innocent until proven guilty. Unlike uh, certain people, you know, on the other side, they don't believe in that. Unless it's for their own people. But I think it's absolutely amazing that he's actually gone and done that. Because it shows that how mad this case has gone. Because obviously, all these major websites and everything else, especially Variety and Polygon, they're there. And they're actually showing, like, yeah, yeah, well, this happened, you know, look at this. Obviously, oops, I just hit the mic. Anime News Network, they would uh, obviously do it. But at the minute, it wouldn't surprise me if Vic actually takes Anime News Network to court as well in the next batch of documents. Mostly because some of the stuff they've been saying and on the website and on Twitter, it's literally, they just look, oh yeah, well this is wrong, this is wrong, this is wrong. With Anime News Network saying everything in the papers are wrong, well... You're going to have to go into court then and actually state why you think it's wrong and you're going to have to prove it. Obviously these papers have been filed now and they're out there and in the public domain so you're literally going to have to go into court against them and say well actually no you've said this in these papers but this is exactly what's happened. I give you this. And obviously uh, she has actually come out to the reporter who actually wrote the pa- um, the article, sorry not the paper. And she said that there's so many people have uh, come forward to her to say, you know, everything that happened against Vic has happened. Well, bring them to court with you and they can give their statement. Otherwise, they just came to you just so they can get a bit of public publicity. So all Vic has to do is just go on record and say these didn't happen and then it's up to the defendants to prove otherwise. When you look at that and you think, well, that's right, obviously. I said in my last video about Funimation, if they want to settle out of court, it will make them look like that they're guilty and obviously the investigations they conducted weren't exactly right. But, again, Sony could be like, you know what, no, we're going to fight you all the way with this, mate. And I'd be like, yeah, okay, you know, fair enough. 
you could see both sides of the argument. But when you go on Twitter and you still see people from both sides at this moment in time, they are both like, well, look at this, look what you're saying here. But the majority of the Kick Vic side, they're not reading the actual papers correctly either. And they're just literally going out of their way to try and say that everything in it is wrong, everything that Vic has said is wrong in the papers. T beard, you know, T is Thai, we know that, but T beard sounds cool. And everything that they're saying is wrong and they got misinformation. Well, if they got misinformation, then the other side, their solicitors or lawyers, they can actually say, well, okay, no, well, it's this, it's this, it's this. And, you know, they they think it's a game, but it's not. Vic is taking them to court for over a million dollars. You know, they're all laughing and joking about it, but guys, this is one hell of a lawsuit, you know? If someone said to me that, oh my God, look at this, I'm taking you to court over this, I wouldn't be going on Twitter and laughing and shouting and screaming about it. I'd be like, right, okay, I need to sort this out. It's that's, But again, I think that's just the different mindset between myself and, say, Ron and all of them. Fair enough, Monica has kind of kept quiet about it. She hasn't gone out of her way or nothing to say anything about it. But Ron is the one who just keeps going and going. He's like the fucking Duracell bunny on this. Everything he comes out with is just, look, mate, relax, be quiet. You know, there was even a, a tweet Monica sent out that, you know, she goes, oh, my lawyer has said to come off social media, but she never. So even their lawyers are stating to them, just come off. Just don't interact with them. That's all they have to do. Ron has even said that himself. He goes, I only do it to defend myself. Well, mate, you don't really need to defend yourself. It's Twitter. It's social media. You know, it's when people come out and say, oh, I'm doing this for the greater good. It's like, mate, you're on Twitter. You're sitting in your house somewhere. Or you're in a shop or, you know, you're buying stuff. And you're just ranting and raving online. It's... It's, it is laughable, very much so. But I would literally just come off Twitter. I would have done exactly what Vic's done and just basically, right, I've only gone on social media just to do a quick thing about saying thank you to people, you know, to Kamea Khan and so forth, and just sending a message, all right, guys, don't do this, don't do that. Be nice to everyone and we can come through this and we can get through to the better place. That's what we need. But not just going on and saying, huh, yeah, I've only come on Twitter to say, yeah, I'm, I don't, I'm not like that. <laughs> That's exactly how Ron sounds through his tweets. He's like, oh, it's so sad, so good. It's like, mate, you literally sound like an idiot in these tweets. Please, just stop it. That's all you need to do, mate, just stop it. You know, Elon Musk... Again, he's one of the most richest men in the world. He doesn't give a shit about anything. And Ron, you're not exactly Elon Musk wealth, you know? You may have a bit of money because I saw you were going to go buy a 90 grand Audi. Which, to be honest with you, everything aside, I actually like that car. If I had that money, I'd do it myself. But you are literally going through a lawsuit at the moment that can see you being sued. So you need to calm it down. Or you can just keep tweeting and letting everybody know what a complete and utter idiot you are. And you can just keep giving ammunition to uh, Beard & Co. If you are new to the channel, please like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell for future updates. And I'll see your lovely faces soon.